I don't have a clue. I don't know where I was at. That was like too long ago for me to remember, but I know I went I, I to Virginia Beach because I was on the run around about that time. So I, I believe I was in Norfolk on that night, Pacific. Um, you know, jailhouse informants. Jailhouse informants trying to get time cuts. Some of them probably feel like, because I got 96 years, I'm done anyway. So, you know, they jumped on it. They, they, they all selling information and stuff. Probably came together, everybody trying to make the same story up. And, you know, they passed it on to the officers. And the officers believed them and charged them. So, that's the only thing I can see took place. Yes, ma'am. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yes, ma'am. I'm not guilty. I'm innocent by all means. Of everything. Of this crime and what I got the 96 years for. I'm innocent of everything. You would not have to last night from the world, no terrible party, no way to all of that. No, ma'am. I don't even think I'm old enough to get in a nightclub. I'm 20 now. I'm going be 21 the next month. So, you know, around about that time, my partner was just turning 19. I ain't old enough to battle no drinks or nothing, so it would be no reason for me to be in a nightclub. I don't party, because I don't even like to be around a lot of people that I don't know. So I don't party. So. Do you own a gun? Do you have a gun? Do you have a gun at that time? No, not at that, probably not at that time. But, you know, I'd, I'd have had firearms before. You know, you know for protection. I done had foul on before. Why are the police charging with the crime then? I told you. Jailhouse informers. People trying to get time cuts. That's it. I'm willing to guarantee you they don't have no famous prison masks, no DNA masks, nothing they can place me at the scene but a, but a jailhouse informer. Somebody trying to get a time cut. They ain't gonna have none of that of me because I wasn't there. I mean, I don't know who can back up my story. All I can say is, it's common sense. If I'm on a run in Virginia Beach and I get caught in Norfolk, it's common sense that I wasn't in Virginia Beach. I was on a run in Virginia Beach. So I left Virginia Beach and went to Norfolk. There's no way possible I would have came back and risked getting caught in Virginia Beach. Common sense to tell somebody that, you know, if you caught me in Norfolk, that's where I would have been at. That's where I'm from. I wasn't warning enough. So there was no need for the police to actually come over there except for what I was on the run for in Virginia Beach. There was no need for me to come to Virginia Beach. Everybody that I know staying in Norfolk. What do you mean you were on the run in I was warned by police for the robberies in Virginia Beach. So when I, when, I, when I seen it, you know what I'm saying, I'm on the run, I'm in Norfolk. I left Virginia Beach. Because I knew Norfolk wouldn't be looking for me just like Virginia Beach would have been. But you in Virginia Beach in October? No, ma'am. As I told you before, I was never in Virginia Beach in October of 2010. I was in Norfolk from September to, no, um, to November 12th or November 13th when they arrested me in Norfolk, in Villa Heights. It's simple. We will, we will, I mean, he got, a, we feel like he got a record, so, you know, it fixed him. It fixed his profile that we'd all been portrayed him as in the media. So, you know, like I, I told the last me, um, news people that, what I think took place is, I, if you ask me my opinion, and I ain't want to speculate, I think somebody in the department killed him, and they covering it up. Because it's too covered up. If he killed him, let it all be, let, let, all, let it all be out. Brain them, brain the DNA, brain the fingerprints. We didn't even need to get to the courtroom for the for the for the for the public to judge it on itself. You know what I'm saying? It's just like with the Trayvon Martin and the George Zimmerman case. They being judged by the public before he even make it to court. So why you not you ain't doing the same with me because all they got is the 200 jailhouse witnesses that they claim they supposed to have. How do you prove your innocence? I can't really prove it. All I can do is take a polygraph test for the family and the public. 
It doesn't. It, it, it's, it's not admissible in court, but for the public, for the family, I don't mind taking a polygraph test to show them that I'm innocent if they believe in a polygraph. I mean, you know, if somebody can, if we can go in my paperwork and let's decipher through what's, taking, what's been taking place so far, just like I've been railroaded for that, I'm being railroaded for this. So again, I just want to make sure I get this point here. You're saying? That I'm not guilty. I, I, didn't, I didn't kill Mr. Victor Decker. I don't know Mr. Victor, Victor Decker, period. I don't know if no investigations he's supposed to have been handling or nothing. I don't know this man. So you, you don't know all at all? Not at all. I never came in encounter with Officer Victor Decker. I don't know him at all. But I'm, I, like I said, I told you it was taking place. These men are not being held accountable no more. They know what to do to get out. They found a way to manipulate the system, and it's simple. We're going to testify against people to get out. There's no theory. It's a fact. It's a known fact that you got jailhouse informants that be lying, that be trying to get out. And like I told, this one took place. Before I even went to Tower the Regional Jail, everybody know that Tower the Regional Jail is the top jail for snitches. Not even snitches, liars. Because you snitching if you tell them the truth. But you a liar if you tell them a lie making up a story. You bear a false witness against your neighbor. So that's what basically took place. And in Tower the Regional Jail, that's what they do. I told the U.S. Marshals before they even put me in Tower Water Regional Jail that I did not want to go to Tower Water Regional Jail. I was in Norfolk Jail doing fine. They moved me from out of Norfolk Jail and put me in Tower Water Regional Jail for three months. I was locked down, but I'm willing to bet majority of these people that jumped on my case was in Tower Water Regional Jail. Yes, ma'am. No matter. I mean, you know, let's bring out the facts. Let's bring out what they got. Let's bring out what they lead to the public so far. So far, we know they got two, they supposedly have 200 witnesses. That's all we know. Yes, yes, they do. Yes, they do. They got the wrong man. No matter. I promise I don't have anything to do with this murder. So I mean it's it's simple. I was trying to I'm as I'm as I'm this situation I want to bring up my other situation. I don't want to go too deep into my other situation, but it's simple. And my other situation, I was railroaded. You had these two these two suspects that said they committed the crime. You got the victim identifying one of them, which is Wade Waffle. The victim identified him as the man that shot him. I mean, there's nothing more I can say about the Victor Devil shooting that I was accused of. I didn't commit it. So, you know, what else to say?